I'm Tom Grassi, a New York City comedian and diehard Green Bay Packers fan for almost 20 years. In 2015, I created a podcast where each week I talk to fans from opposing teams to share their story and to get yelled at for about an hour for being a Packers fan. Last year, I met amazing people and went to amazing places. And this year, I'm ready to do it all over again. Make no mistake about it, I will be remembered as a Packer. Enjoy the show. Grossy Posse Packer Nation, welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't need to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. Well, hoo-hoo, we took a little bit of a week off. We only did one episode last week, and let me tell you, good thing because I didn't want to get too excited, too overworked for the amazingness that was the 2016-17 Pro Bowl. Wow. Just uh, an incredible game, uh, a hard-fought game. Uh, you know, the, the play I liked, the, I'm just, I didn't watch it. I, I, I couldn't, I, could, I tried as much as I could, I couldn't do it. I, I have to admit... There was a part of me that was going to watch it for just a couple minutes and, and see how it was. But then I saw the time was like at 7.45 start time, and I said, absolutely not. Uh, and then I switched over to the Royal Rumble because I would rather watch grown men in their underwear wrestle and have it totally be scripted than, than watch the Pro Bowl. But uh, I did catch a little bit of the end, and I also did catch the highlights as well. And I, I have to say... Uh, uh, let me give credit where credit is due. It was more competitive. Now, do I still have zero interest? Yes. Do I still not want to watch it at all? No. I I have no I I I have no interest whatsoever. And it's just there's nothing at stake. And, and I I know they they went back to the traditional AFC NFC format which I think is the right move. They tried that really crappy fantasy thing, which I honestly could not care less about, and apparently nobody else could either. They introduced something new this year, which was the the skills challenge or like the skill thing in which they had different events like the the drone catch. They, they flew a drone up like 100 feet in the air and they dropped the ball. They had a, a throwing competition and they and they had a, a like an American Ninja Warrior track run thing where they lifted up walls and ran through walls. And then they had a, a dodgeball tournament. You know, I I have to I have to give the NFL props because I I never thought that I would watch like Ezekiel Elliott play dodgeball. I that that's that's one of the, like it just reminded me of that scene in Dodgeball where it's like ESPN Ocho, like this is this is where we've become that we're watching NFL players play dodgeball. Um I I have to say though, I liked the throwing competition. Like that was that was one of the few things I watched each highlight of and I was like, "Oh, all right, you can throw the ball and and hit things. That's fine." I could not care less about the 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 power lifting thing, uh, the track run. I could not care about that. Really don't care about the drone catch. Like I watched a couple seconds of that and got really bored because it's just, it's dropping the ball and, and, and catching it. And yeah, I mean, at least Odell could catch something like that. I, I mean, you know, he had to, he had to catch something in January, but, um, I feel like it's going to take a couple years for them to kind of lock it down. I think the skills thing, it'll probably be something to stay. They'll add some stuff onto it. They'll take some stuff off of it. But man, like that game, like the game just has no, there's no investment by the fan. Like there's no reason for the fan to watch that. And, you know, looking at it, for example, like Aaron Rodgers elected to the Pro Bowl this year, did not play again. And, and I saw some people, like, wondering, like, why isn't Aaron Rodgers playing? Uh, Kirk Cousins wound up replacing him. And the reason being, or, like, the reason that we can kind of infer, in, in 2012, 
Um, Rodgers, he was elected to the Pro Bowl, and he played the fir- the full first quarter, and that was a really bad Pro Bowl. I know which one, but that was the one where like the AFC blew the NFC out like 59 to some low score. And Rodgers, after the game, said, I was a bit disappointed. I felt like some of the guys on the NFC side embarrassed themselves. He was surprised to see some of the guys didn't want to play or put any effort into it, uh, claiming that they were going half speed and, you know, because they didn't want to injure themselves, which, of course, no one wants to get injured. But, you know, Rodgers made the argument that the, he sees more injuries when they're only going half speed because, you know, when you're not going full force, that's when you can actually get injured. So, I, I mean,. You know, that's why Aaron Rodgers is not playing. Like, it seems to me that he's just like, there. there's no point in me doing this because Aaron Rodgers is a competitive guy and he just wants to, he wants to play and he wants to win. And I can imagine, you know, you see, you know, Des Bryant just, just doing a little light jog and being like, oh, oh man, I caught it. Like, you know, that, that, that would make me frustrated too. So, I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised if like Aaron Rodgers is, is right now just like watching film and just like getting ready for next year. So... I mean, I, I understand why he's not playing. Uh, David Bakhtiari played. Haha, Clinton Dix played, which I read an, inst- an interesting stat today, too. Haha, Clinton Dix played every single play, like over a thousand plays uh, this season, which is incredible and kind of just uh, is a testament to his stamina. But, um, you know, good for those guys. That's a, that's a good thing. I mean, just, I mean, what what do you think the NFL needs to do to fix the Pro Bowl? Like, I, I don't have the answer. Like, we they talked about doing it like the All-Star game used to do it for MLB, that the winner, you know, gets home field advantage for, um, like, I think it was for the Super Bowl or, or something. I don't know. It, it's it, it's just boring. It's, it's boring to watch. I am bored talking about it right now. Like, the, the most... The most I'll have on here is my my Brett Favre Pro Bowl jersey, and then I'm going to take this off and and never wear it until next year. So, yeah, I mean, it it sucks. What would you do? I mean, would you do anything? Would you just get rid of it? I I can understand just getting rid of it and just being like, hey, guys, uh, if we had a Pro Bowl, you you would go. Because a lot of these guys see it as a uh, a vacation, and why not? None of them want to get hurt. No one's going to, like, go crazy hard. Again, this was more competitive. I'm giving them that, but... It's just, uh, it's nothing that I have any interest in whatsoever. Um, but speaking of, let's do some Packers stuff. Uh, it seems that Dom Capers is going to be keeping his job. McCarthy said at the end of the year press conference that, you know, didn't want to create any drama, that Dom Capers is an excellent coach and had a tough task this year. <sighs> that was the collective sigh of the Packers fan base. Listen, and, and I've defended Capers on here. I have. Because... There, there's something to be said of he didn't have Sam Shields all year. Rollins was in and out. Randall was in and out. And when your number one guy is Gunter, it, it's tough to make a high quality secondary. Um, and, and you kind of have to take the good with the bad because, or the bad with the good in this case, because, you know, he was able to, the Giants defense played well. Cowboys, Dom Capers really like if it's not for Aaron Rodgers, we lost that game. You know, so I don't I don't think that's a good defensive game from Dom Capers. Uh and then obviously the NFC Championship was just just pain and and suffering. So I mean, we've been calling for Capers head for for years now. Um I just don't I, I think it's just time for a change. Like I under I understand his his coaching caliber. I just think something needs to change and and it's frustrating when you don't see that change. But then again, you know, people have been calling for Thompson this year, for McCarthy this year. Listen, if we listen to everybody in the beginning of the year, McCarthy, Thompson, Rodgers would have been gone. Rodgers would have been benched. People were calling for that, and we wouldn't have gone on this great run. But um, the defense is what constantly holds us back year after year, and, you know, you're kind of just hoping that something changes. Uh, McCarthy was said in a press conference uh, yesterday saying that we're, we're not far from where we need to be. Yeah, that's true, but my concern is 2014 – you know, we were a couple plays away from being in the Super Bowl, and you know, we were one game away this year. And it, it's just, it's the defense. The defense keeps on failing us, and the defense failed us last year in the divisional game, and the defense failed us in the 49ers game. But it's the defense is the consistent thing here, and I'm worried that we're going to take a step back. And, you know, there's there's articles been coming out talking about Ted Thompson spending more in free agency. We do have a lot of people that we have to potentially sign. Um, 
you know, and and Thompson obviously never really makes a huge splash in free agency, but he does keep his guys for a while. The big blunder this year being Casey Hayward. But if you had everybody healthy, Sam Shields didn't get hurt, I, I would argue that you wouldn't need Casey Hayward because the guy didn't play amazingly like he did in – San Diego this year he just didn't like I'm sorry like I don't I don't know if you liked Casey Hayward I liked him but he wasn't an all-star player like he he didn't it just that's just the way that's the way it is it's the way the stats are uh Ty Montgomery's gonna be staying at running back so his number is gonna be changing uh as well which I think is a good move I think that you need to re-sign Lacey for one year so you can have a backfield of Lacey uh Ty Montgomery and then Rip Rip of course is gonna get better as well James Stark's I don't, I don't see, I love James Starks. You know, you helped us win a Super Bowl. Thank you. But I, I think you need to go now. Um, he was also injured as well. Uh, next week, after we do the Super Bowl recap episode, um, I'm essentially going to have a, an entire episode dedicated to what the Packers need to do to win the Super Bowl next season. Uh, I'll, I'll give you my, uh, my, my commissioner uh, or armchair manager uh, predictions of what needs to happen. So that will be next week. Uh, for this week, we have uh, we have something special for this week. Uh, I wanted to do this last week, kind of right after the Atlanta game, but this this is just perfect because of the way that the Super Bowl falls. In that, like, listen, I have no stake in the Super Bowl. Oh, I'll be watching it. Uh, I'll be hopefully enjoying it. I really hope it's a good game. But um, this week, instead of interviewing, obviously, a uh, Falcons fan or a Patriots fan, uh, we're gonna bring back our good Broncos fan. Uh, Brandon Perna, uh, love, love him. And we're going to be bringing, uh, Sam Comro for the first time. We are going to be having a three-way on this show. It's going to get messy. So make sure you bring some napkins. We're going to be doing that. That episode will come out on Thursday. That'll be on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google music. Um, so check that out. That's going to be a phenomenal episode. Then next week we'll do a Super Bowl recap. We'll do kind of a season wrap up what the Packers need to do. And then uh, we'll go on a little bit of a hiatus and I will just, you know, kind of burrow into the ground like an ostrich and wake me up when it is August. Um, you could always find me personally at TomGrossyComedy.com, T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy, or Tom Grossi Comedy on Twitter. Uh, PatCast, P-A-C-K-A-S-T, we do our once a week on YouTube. And also both you can find both episodes, including the interview with the opposing fans on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music, like I just mentioned before. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, it'll be uh, interesting. Uh, we'll get our Super Bowl predictions uh, this Thursday. It'll be uh, it'll be some good stuff. I hope. I really hope it's a good game and not a crappy one. I'm afraid it's gonna be crappy. I feel like I'm just gonna cry the entire time because the Packers aren't in it. But it's okay. We beat the Cowboys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, go Pack, go.